Hi, I'm Ryan from Educate.me, and today I'm going to show you a cool little desktop publishing app that you probably already use. It's called Google Slides. So I'm going to start up a Google Slides document. And Google Slides is pretty good at putting things on the page where you want it. Well, we can use this if we wanted to make newsletters in our classrooms or flyers or all that other stuff. You can do that in Google Slides. Now, if you have access to Canva, which if you're a teacher, you can get Canva Pro for free, I would recommend looking at Canva, but for some things, they just work better in Google Slides. And to do desktop publishing in Google Slides, we only need to make one change, and that is to change our document size. So if we go to File, and down here to Page Setup, we don't want widescreen, we want custom, and it even pops up the inches. We want it 8.5 inches wide by 11 inches tall. And that's all you, there is to it. Now you'll see that the it kind of looks like a piece of paper over here. And you can set up your whole document using the tools that you already know. And when it comes time to print, you can print it out. You can also download it as a PDF. So if you have a multi-page newsletter that you want to share out to people, you can share it as a PDF and just send it to them instead of printing it out. So that's how you can use Google Sites for desktop publishing. Just go to page setup and change your page size to the eight and a half by 11. You can also use this if you wanted to make books. Instead of doing eight and a half by 11, you can do 11 by eight and a half. And now you can do widescreen books. If you're doing drawing books, uh, picture books for kids, you can lay them all out in this document just really easily. And that's all I have for you today. Pretty short video, but it's something that you might have known was there, but didn't quite know what you could use it for. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like and also visit my website over at educate.me. Stay classy.